We're 52 hours into our race around the world. If you want to know what happened in those 52 hours, we made a whole bunch of videos about it, so go watch those. Right now, both teams are in Singapore. Me and Joseph only have $20, and in order to beat Ben and Adam, we need to get on a super expensive flight directly to the US by the end of tonight. In order to make that money, our plan is to do the get drunk on a local liquor challenge and gamble that reward money at a casino until we have enough to buy the plane tickets. Ben and Adam have to take the long route back to America through Australia because they have a lot of distance to make up to meet the distance requirement. They were about to board an overnight flight to Sydney, but well, you'll see what happened with that. A uh, very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Just to put you in the picture of what's happening with the aircraft, obviously you can see what's uh, possibly what's happening out there. The aircraft was struck by lightning when it came into Singapore. There is superficial damage to the aircraft, unfortunately. They've done the inspections, but they have got quite considerable inspections to do. A lot of you have had very long days, and there's still a long night ahead of us. That is not good. He was struck by lightning? That's exciting content, though. Lightning. We got lightning on this show. Oh, my God. It's pretty cool, huh? Avenue Lounge up. Where's the freaking Avenue Lounge? It said up. Say I'm running out of time. That casino, the, the, Look, the, 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 they're down. See right there? Um, Ooh, that, was, that, that sign said, that sign said up. Yeah. Where is it? It said this way. Yeah. Oh my God. Do you think Starbucks has liquor? <laughs> Does anywhere down there have alcohol? It doesn't look like there's any alcohol. No, it just looks like normal food court. Yeah. I don't understand. I know, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Do you think the Ferrari store has alcohol? Do you think they allow public drinking here? Can we just go to a liquor store and I, uh, drink we're not, from the bottle? We're not risking Singapore. Yeah, there's police everywhere in here. <laughs> Literally cops all over the place in here. I don't really fancy getting arrested. Okay, so this delay is kind of a big problem for us. We are hoping that we can take a 10 15 direct flight from Sydney to LAX. We already have a flight to Fiji booked that's later, but yeah. if we can get direct to LA, we save like seven hours, yep, it's, I it's think, five hours. Good. Yeah. Do you just have a bar? Or... Um, yes, however, we're fully committed to. Oh, uh, okay, no worries. Or L, just L City. Where they, they said they were sold out, right? They said they are yeah, fully committed, they're fully booked. What about this Mont 32 place? I guess we could try, yeah. Can we go to the bar? Um, why? Actually, we both uh, sit the bar because we already have like the Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Okay, that's fine. No worries. So, uh, departure at the moment, they are publishing as uh, 2200 hours, which is at 10 p.m. What'd they say, Adam? <laughs> Departure's at 10 now. Oh, dear. That's not good. I want you. Are you sitting at the bar? For drinks only. Yeah. One moment. Do you have any? Uh, do you have any liquor made in Singapore? Local liquor? Nope. No Singapore liquor at all. They do have brew it, but it tastes like. Shit. If you haven't heard of Island Island brand? Oh yeah. Yeah. It tastes like. Shit. But we don't get. So you don't have it here. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> they don't have any local liquor. There's no local Singapore liquor. Well, apparently there's one, but it tastes like shit. Yeah. We've just got the new information from the engineers that they actually need more time to do the checks on the aircraft. Provisional departure time from here is now at 11 o'clock local time. Did you hear that? Another delay, another hour. We're really going to have to start thinking about backup options if this one falls through. What about that flight to um, Darwin? 10.45. There's an 11 p.m. to Adelaide. There's a 2 a.m. Singapore to Sydney. Oh, you know what? I would argue that I started having fun. When did you start having fun? I've been having fun, honestly, since pretty much all day today. Well, I, I think officially I started having fun when we started looking for alcohol. I really, I really enjoy looking for alcohol. So I think we started having fun at, at 5.30. That was only 20 minutes ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but like, <laughs> we gotta actively have fun. Okay, that's so true. So we're gonna have some alcohol. That's funny. 
Yeah, we can go to the casino. That's fine. Which is, which is fun. And not a challenge. Yeah. And then gamble whatever's left. So we can get $300 from the, having a good time. Yeah. All right, and then gamble YOLO all of that. Yeah, we either go big or go home. Except, in this case, not go home. Yeah, in this case, we're stranded. Yeah, go big or stay here. <laughs> go big or stay, stay trapped. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for waiting. We finally have the good news. We are going to start boarding now. At this stage, we'd like to invite our priority customers in Group 1, 2, and 3 to proceed in for boarding. So now I think we are going to at least have enough time to make that, that flight to Fiji. Yeah, we should. If one of these is empty, I'm going and sitting in it. <laughs> Nobody can stop me. Just a wild guess, but at this point in the game, Sam and Joseph should be headed either to Australia or to Tokyo. And or so maybe Seoul. Maybe Seoul. All right, we found the roulette machine. We can bet up to 25 bucks. So what do you think, 17 each time? Yeah. So just $5 each time on yeah. the last 17. All yeah, right. I think so. Okay, so they have a real roulette thing up there. Oh, it's so we're all watching. Let's go. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. We just got it. Oh my god. You see that? No way. I told you this is a flawless strategy. Flawless strategy. Everything on it. I should have. What do we have now? So wait, so we have where's our money? It and should be five times thirty-two. It says we only have fifty. We started with 50? Yeah. And I don't, what? Is there a minimum that we're not meeting? Oh, min bet 25. Oh no. That is devastating. We wouldn't want yet, $800. Yet, no, we wouldn't have. Oh, yeah. with if we had put Just the non-stop L's. If we had put the minimum 25 on black there, we would have won $800. Non-stop L's, I can't that. Believe was that. almost enough. Uh, All right, we got to try to double our money on black now. I feel like we're just about to take another L. There's, there's no way we don't take another L right now. First time we got the number back right. It literally was. And it didn't even tell us. Oh, we got black. Okay, so now we have 75. So we're Put another 25 on black. 25 up. All right, come on. Let's get another black. Nope. Well, we're just back where we Well, we have uh, 25 black. Should we put it on black again? Yeah. Okay, okay we got 25. What do you think, black again, or should we just go into the numbers? Just keep doing black. You think? But we could put it on 17 twice. All right, put 25 on 17. Yeah. Big money, big money, big money, big money, big money, big money. OK, that is not 17. That's black 33. I think we should do 17 again. Go big or go home. We're not going to make any progress just by doing All black. right, we go big or we get stranded. Well, we are officially broke. But we're having a good time still. We need to earn $800 in order to book our onward flight from CG to LA. We're going to get it at 8.30. We're going to need to be on a flight at 1.15, and that's with customs and security and stuff. And we have to take our COVID test. I'm leaving fish at the moment. If but we can find a place to rent one. If there's it's not to rent a fish to rent like a, you know, a fish. I wish pond. we, but if we, I mean, if no fish are biting, which might just happen. Yeah, we'd be in trouble. We might not be able to make it onto our flight to Fiji. All right, so it's officially been two hours. Yeah. I mean, we've had a good time and earned $300 for that. Here's the deal. We need almost exactly 2,625 Singaporean dollars to book that flight to JFK. And we have 400. We have 400. So we so. need to bet 75 each time in the numbers. And if we hit it one time, we have the money to do it. I've yeah. done the math. You think that's what we do? We just I think we just need to bet seven, 75 on 17 each time. All right. You okay All right. for that? Yeah, let's do it.
I don't see how this could ever go wrong, right? No, not at all. I mean, what else has gone wrong today? Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, of course. Oh, okay, thank you. Uh, we'll get him next time, right? That was a good practice reaction that for this time, right? Yeah, of course. We'll get him this time. Of course. All right. That is not 17. It's all black, though. It's fine. We'll get him this time, right? Yeah. We'll get him this time. God damn it. That's red. Yeah. It's fine. We'll get him this time, right? Yeah, I mean, we'll get him this time. We got to. This is the last one. All we gotta do, I mean, we're going to win it this time. Yes, of course. That's what's in the script, right? Yeah. Oh, shit. Damn, you're not supposed to say that. Damn, why to spoil it? Yeah. I like that spin. That was a good spin. It is robust. That is not 17. It's fine. We have 25 bucks left. We put 25 on 17. We win on 17. And then we put everything else on 17 and get back up to right. 2,600, right? Let's do, yeah, let's do it. Perfect strategy. We'll get him this time. Joseph, I'm sorry to say it, but I think we might have just lost Jet Lag the game. I think we can finally admit that we have probably lost. <laughs> so Adam and Ben, wherever you are, um, we're not going to tell you. We're not going to tell them that we've lost. We're not going to say, but wherever you're at. Uh, and we just have no way of leaving Singapore. Yeah, we're stuck. Without just ending up stuck in Seoul Airport, which they wouldn't let us do because you can't. We don't have an exit flight. Yeah, we can't fly there unless we have a flight beyond, which we can't I think, afford. I think we've been checkmated. Like, oh, no, no, look at no, that. Look no, at that. oh my God. No way. <laughs> One more round. If we had had, like, if we had had, oh my no God. No way. Literally, the next one was 17 guys. With that loss, Joseph and I are trapped in Singapore for the rest of the game. There's no way through grinding challenges or gambling for us to make the money before the last flight of the night. We are well and truly screwed. But Ben and Adam aren't out of the woods yet. With limited challenges left, $370 in the bank, and only 37 hours left to get the remaining 8,325 miles back to Denver, they're going to need everything to go right from here on out to get back before the clock hits 100 hours. Okay, so we just got in. It's about 9 a.m. Our flight got in late. We have to get on a flight at about 1.15, and before that, we need to earn $800. $800. So we have decided that we are going to catch a fish. Uh, so step one of that means we have to go buy a fishing rod. We have to apply for our fishing license. Yep, yeah, we're getting a fishing license. Okay, we are now licensed to fish in Australia. So that's good. No uh, challenges from Sam and Joseph. I haven't heard from them in a while. I haven't heard from them in a while. Probably on a long flight. Presumably cut to them on a flight. Well. I mean, Singapore, I love you, but I hate you. Yeah, I kind of I kinda hate Singapore right now, honestly. Yeah. We um, came here and we just had L after L. I mean, all we could do is have fun. We couldn't even find liquor. <laughs> we couldn't even find liquor. We got the Michelin star robbed from us. We got the bungee jump robbed from us. Congrats to Ben and Adam. Hopefully their plane just gets like diverted to Midway Island or something and they get stuck there for days and and then we can I don't know what we would do then. I mean we still don't have we I still mean, have no way to earn. We money. are totally hecked. We're done so. I think we're done so. <laughs> we're done so. We're we're gonna find some food. We haven't eaten since like breakfast and just I don't know, drink what? <laughs> drown our uh, sorrows. Just drown our sorrows out. So yeah, congrats, yeah. Ben and Adam. Thank you. Goodbye. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We're looking for Thank like, for, like the, the cheapest fishing, cheapest fishing rod. rod you have. The cheapest, but, but at least you work a really good one. Uh, uh, do you want a starter package? 
Yeah, yeah. Curse, Wave, well, everything. That'd be great. Better. Yeah, starter yeah, yeah. package. Where are you great. from? Okay. We're from, from, yeah, from New York. New York, okay. Oh, I spent my honeymoon in New York. Oh, incredible. Let's try this small pack of prong. I mean, all the okay. fishies are prong. $91.35. Perfect. Thank oh. you. Have a good one. All right, that was pretty efficient. Wonderful, thank you thank so you. much. All right, buddy, let's catch a fish. Okay. Came in with a lot of confidence. Turns out that confidence was misplaced. Excuse me, have you caught any fish today? I did not know that fishing could be this stressful. It happened again. The rod is falling apart, okay? I think it's all about the net. All right, we can do this. Any luck? There are like little minnows down there, right? I think so. Are you getting this? I mean, this is beautiful. Here. Yep. No, oh, man, we made a huge mistake, Ben. Just massive. I just imagined the ocean around Australia full of beautiful, exotic fish. Yeah, that, I, I sure did. That we could snatch out of the water. At a moment's notice. But there are none. Not a one. There's like two actual fisher guys who have been here for hours and they haven't caught me today. So how would we catch that? Surely the answer is keep an eye. I could try and jump into the water over there where the minnows are. I mean, and just thrash around. Like, it's not the worst idea. No, it's not. Are those minnows? Yeah, those are. I think we need to dive in. Okay, I'll do it. You sure you don't want me to do it? I'll do it. I'll do it. Probably just go in my underwear, right? Yeah. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Look, that's a fish. We have caught the tiniest fish in the whole world. <laughs> yes, thank god. <laughs> oh, I was about to jump into the water. Think of the content that you're missing out on. <laughs> you gotta go back to the airport too. <laughs> I'm gonna put my shoes on. <laughs> we did it! <laughs> oh, <laughs> cannot believe it. Taking our onward flight to LA. Thank you. Thank you.
we're just not going to have a chance. No, we have not enough time to do anything. And also, one thing we failed to consider is that this is the southern hemisphere, uh, which means that it's winter now, which means that at 7 p.m. it's pitch blackout, which means that uh, attempting to jump into the ocean for a shell uh, would uh, kill us. Fiji fact. Um, do you know that they actually like bottle this stuff in Fiji and then ship it other places? Isn't that crazy? Yeah, I mean, isn't that exactly what it says that they do that just on the seems bottles? Like stupid. Did you think that? I don't know. I did just you wait? Did you wait? Did you think that Fiji water didn't come from Fiji? I just thought it was like a brand. Like it was the vibe of the water was Fiji. It was sort of Fiji vibe. Why would they ship it from here? It's the same thing. Because the whole point of the water is that it's water from Fiji. That's why it's called Fiji water. Well, it literally says from the islands of Fiji on it. That's not, that doesn't appeal to me at all. All right, back <laughs> to America. Thank you. We're realizing it's been, what, like 28 hours since Sam and Joseph have completed a challenge? Yeah, I mean, they're either like in jail or they're about to win. Yeah, definitely one of the two. Let's hope they're in jail. There are signs pointing three different ways for taxi. This one says go that way. This one says go that way. That one says go this way. I hate this city. Build a subway, idiots. There's a 4.30 flight to Denver that we really, really, really want to make. Because if we don't make it, then we have to wait another two and a half hours until the next flight, which is also much more expensive. So we only need like 80 more dollars to buy this flight. So we're doing the cheapest challenge that's left, which is Get drunk on a local liquor. Now that we're back in the United States, that liquor is going to be bourbon, and we are heading to the Santa Monica Pier as fast as we possibly can to get drunk. Let's go. Thank you. Let's go here. Sure. Then one kind of liquor if you want. Bourbon. Thank you very much. Great, thank you. Here we go. I can't believe we're doing this two series in a row. I hope it's you really liked incredible. it last time. I hope you didn't See, find it annoying. See, it's tradition now for us to do this. Last one. All right, hit it, hit it down before you go. Let's be the game. Uh, yeah, three hundred eight. That's three hundred dollars. That's enough to make our flight to Denver. Time to go. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Take a little limp around Santa Monica here. Yeah. Oh, actually, our car is gonna be here for four minutes. So, here, I'm just gonna sprint. Here. Okay. I'm gonna show everyone Santa Monica here. There's bubbles. Roller coasters, the beach, buildings. Now we gotta go. We gotta book the tickets before we're too drunk. All right, let's book those tickets. Last flight booked. Last flight booked. Yeah. Just gotta make it. How are you feeling? My body has nothing but bourbon and peanut butter cracker in it. What? Are you drunk? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much fine right now. It takes a little while for shots to kick in for me. Okay. Yeah, we're still playing the game. You know, the challenge in over 24 hours, so he like, might be in jail or something. I don't know. 
if what would happen if he died. All right. Ah. <laughs> Let's absolutely do it, buddy. This way. All right. Hey, buddy. Food's almost ready. I got you. I got you a drink here. I didn't know what you wanted. I got you a diet coke. I love diet coke. That's what I thought you'd like. All right. How you feeling? Adam, the world is a beautiful place, and I'm glad we went around it together. Me too, buddy. All right, here we go. It's gonna happen. I just, can't believe we're back in Denver. Just it landed in so Denver. Surreal. Oh, my whole body hurts. Remember when uh, this was the worst line you would ever see in the entire life? A lifetime ago. A lifetime ago. We are things done. Here we go. That was terrible. I don't know to go Let's get to the end. Oh, I'm hobbling. I'm like so scared they're gonna like be there waiting for us somehow. <laughs> oh, I see it. There it is. One, two. <laughs> oh. circumnavigated the world in 112 hours, 37 minutes, and 14 seconds. Good job. We did it. Oh, that's you. Well, that's a wrap on circumnavigation. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching us absolutely kick Sam's ass at Circumnavigation. Oh, see you next time. And that is season two of Jet Lag done. Thank you so much for watching. We really enjoyed making that season and good news, in exactly seven minutes, we start filming season three of Jet Lag. And if you want to be the very first people to watch that on September 7th, when it first comes out, you've got to be a Nebula subscriber. That's of course an appreciation of the Nebula subscribers are quite literally funding this channel. They sent us to wherever we are now. Hopefully there's no identifying features. Season three drops in just over a month, September 7th on Nebula, September whatever, seven days after seventh on YouTube. But of course, until then, if you haven't watched it yet, there is a bunch of other great stuff you could watch, like for example, you can watch Crime Spree, which is the pilot season of Jet Lag, which is on Nebula and will always only be on Nebula. A whole season of Jet Lag. It's a whole season of Jet Lag that's just on Nebula. It's really good. Yeah. Oh, it's a blast. And of course, what kind of makes this even better is the best way to sign up for Nebula isn't actually directly for Nebula. It's even cheaper to sign up for the Curiosity Stream bundle deal. It's just $14.79 currently for an annual subscription to Curiosity Stream. And if you sign up at our link, curiositystream.com slash jet lag, they just throw the Nebula subscription in for free for as long as you have a membership. And there's loads of great stuff on Curiosity Stream too. Lots of kind of long form documentaries and, and we made a documentary. That's true. We even have a documentary on it. So two streaming sites that you'll actually use for less than the cost of one kind of other maybe red flavored streaming site and you'll be supporting jet lag while you're at it. And you'll get to watch every episode, including the first episode of next season a week early. So head over to curiositystream.com slash jet lag sign up today. And thanks in advance for your support. We got to go and film season three. Um, but uh, goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you. Here, wait, I'm going to, I, I'm going to do a slow clap. Does it feel mean? It does, in fact, mean you've lost, my friend. This is like... Oh, shoot, we forgot to touch the flagpole, ah! Oh, you did it. Oh, man. Sorry, man. Uh, you always forget the little things. I know, it's the little things in life, isn't it? Uh, what do we do now? Yeah, it's a huge question. No idea. All right, well, bye. <laughs> See you next time.
Are you driving home tonight? Yeah, I wanted to, but... It seems like it'd be crazy. Sort it's like, death it's sentence. Yeah, it's so late. So, hey. He said, he said it. it. He said the name of the game.